Pisces couples, hello and welcome to your weekly reading with Angelic Ascensions Tarot. All right, so your overall energy is the Six of Cups. So you're having some nostalgic feelings, Pisces, about someone from the past. It looks like you feel like you've lost an opportunity. And it looks like your attention is diverted from your relationship and focused on this situation that with this person that you dealt with in the past. It's like you're dwelling on what it is that you believe that you've lost. You know, you know wishing that you could change things. Okay, but someone's too busy looking behind instead of looking ahead. Uh, someone's very focused on the past, constantly dwelling on the past and possibly dwelling on a missed opportunity. And this is someone that was a bit sneaky, someone that was sneaking off in the middle of the night, doing some dirt. And this is someone that hurt your feelings, dashed your hopes and broke your heart. This was emotionally draining for you. And this is someone that was, of course, a bit careless with your heart. You could have, Pisces, it looks like either you or your partner, we're talking about this person from the past, you could have stayed in this relationship for quite some time. Yeah, five years or more, five to seven years. I'm getting two fives here, maybe ten years for some of you. Five, ten years plus maybe for some of you. But I'm feeling like, this is someone that has been a bit cold. This person treated you cold. They were a bit distant. And you were just overall just disappointed at their actions. Someone was trying to cover up the truth. Or is, present tense, both past and present tense. Someone was covering up the truth. And this is a situation where someone was keeping things in limbo, you know. Um... They, this is someone that was biding their time. They needed time to think about things and sum things up um, as far as the direction that they're going in with this relationship because it looks like someone is having to make a final decision and they've been keeping things in a state of stagnation for quite some time. It looks like this relationship started off happy. It had its happy points. It had its ups and downs, but... Overall, you were happy with this person and you're realizing that the person that you've chosen, you're kind of feeling stuck and bound to. But this is all mental energy. It's like you believe it in your head with the eight of swords. This one felt like they were trapped in a relationship, like they just couldn't get out. And this was causing someone a lot of mental anguish. A lot of frustration about what to do while one of the third parties was feeling orphaned feeling disappointed feeling alone having a lack of understanding being left in the dark about what's really going on because one of you felt like someone was not willing to put in the work in this relationship and so I feel like someone stopped giving either Virgo it was your partner it could have been you it could have been the third party because keep in mind, this is a general reading. So everything may not resonate with everyone and anything that I say can go vice versa. And by the way, check your sun, moon, rising and Venus signs. If you need more clarity, I'm feeling like there's some conflict and someone is more focused on winning the conflict um, as opposed to keeping the relationship going and preserving the relationship and preserving the partner's feelings. Um, you could have been dealing with a fire sign queen of wands um it looks like you had a lot of fire in you in the beginning or this could have been your partner virgo you can be dealing with a fire sign in aries leo or sagittarius or this could be your chart placement virgo um you're a go-getter you're very passionate you're very caring and you're very charismatic people are drawn to your personality i'm seeing leo and cancer sagittarius so far we have the Queen of Swords, so Aquarius, Libra, Gemini as well. Um, somewhere along the way, you became unhappy with this person that you're dealing with currently. And 
you're very in tune. You've got the high priestess and you have intuition as if someone is highly intuitive in this situation. Someone is kind of, you know, trying to figure out the context clues and they're figuring it out. Their intuition is guiding them. And for some of you that are, you know, you're biding your time. There's a feeling of uncertainty. There's a feeling of insecurity about making the wrong decision. So you're keeping things in a state of stagnation. You know, you've gone into this period of isolation, um, retrospection. Okay. For some of you, this is Virgo. All right, Pisces. So you've gone within, you've retreated within, you're trying to get in touch with your intuition to figure out what it is that you want. You're trying to figure out which direction to go to because you definitely, without a doubt, are wanting to make a wise decision this time around. And you're coming to terms with the fact that you still have romantic feelings with this person from the past. After all, the overall energy is the Six of Cups in reverse. I mean, sorry, the Six of Cups. So this is definitely someone that you're having nostalgic feelings for. This is someone from the past. And yeah, you're realizing that you have those feelings for someone and you're trying to figure out how to broach the subject with your partner. And you're coming out of this period of isolation and you're going to make it known, it looks like, Virgo. And you're about to be honest and truthful about what's really going on. And this could lead to the severance of ties because I'm seeing that there's a transformation coming about. A transformation within and a transformation in the situation. Because I'm seeing that you are strongly deciding that it's time to free yourself and walk away from this situation because you're 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 not happy you know you're feeling disconnected you're in a period of isolation you don't want to talk to anyone you are feeling sad and disappointed because you feel like you lost this connection with this person from the past yeah definitely you have wisdom twice so without a doubt, you are keeping things in a state of stagnation because you're wanting to make the wise choice. And maybe this also means that you've gained some wisdom from the person that you were in the past. You're no longer... Um, okay, because you've got it twice. You're no longer that person that is all about yourself. You know, in the past, that's what you were. Focused on your own fulfillment, your own whatever makes you happy. And having no regard about the other one's feelings. You're realizing that those are ways that you want to keep in the past and you're ready to move forward. You know, you're tired of sneaking around, covering things up, not being forthright, not being honest. You're ready to leave that behind. And again, yeah, so you're having an inner transformation as well. The situation is going through a period of transformation as well. Because there's someone that you've been in contact with, okay? Someone that has been waiting for you or you've been waiting for them. And you've been talking about, now if you're not talking about it, you're at least thinking about rebuilding a relationship with someone from the past. And you feel like you've gone through this period of keeping things in a state of stagnation, right? With the hanged man keeping things in limbo because you've been trying to be very methodical and very slow. You've got the Knight of Pentacles, someone who is very slow and methodical in his approach. He thinks things out. He plans things out. So you've been patiently planning to figure out how it is that you're going to move on with your life because I feel like that's what you're doing. That's what you're wanting. But by the same token, you're wanting to keep the peace at home. I feel like you don't feel like, like you're getting the accolades that you deserve in your home life, in the, the situation at home, maybe even on the job. You feel like you're not getting the, yeah, the accolades that you deserve for all of the, the sacrifice that you put in in this relationship or someone's feeling this way. If it's not you, Pisces, then it could be your partner or the third party. 
feel like you're missing this spiritual union that you had with this person from the past. And yeah, you're making your way out of this situation. You've been praying for peace, praying for guidance. And you're being re... I'm, I'm guided to tell you, listen to your intuition. And someone's afraid to speak their truth. But the time has come. Five represents change, change in direction. Something is changing and someone's about to speak up and say what it is that they feel. I feel like someone is trying to control the other one. Let go of control issues, it says. There's someone that's trying to control the situation and keep someone from leaving. And also, this person that's been keeping things in stagnation, they're not sure if it's safe for them to love or safe for them to leave a situation because someone feels like, again, that they're making a big sacrifice by leaving their current situation because they're unsure about how it is they will be received with this person from the past that they've been thinking about. But without a doubt, someone wants a renewal. Okay, definitely intuition is here because you have the, the, the high priestess. Some of you could be reaching out to psychics or this is just a very intuitive time for you. And I'm being guided to tell you, listen to your intuition. Well, with that, I forgot to pull a card for you for your overall advice for the situation. You know, we can save that for the end. I'm, I'm being led to, to do it now. Okay. And it looks like you've outgrown this relationship. Okay. And you're looking for a breakthrough and you're looking to break out of this situation, this mental prison that you find yourself trapped in. Peace. Peace comes from remembering that only love is real. So you've got peace twice. And it looks like that's what you're striving for in this situation. You're trying to find the most peaceful way to resolve this situation. And I'm saying that without a doubt, you're wanting to leave. You're wanting to get out of a situation that you're no longer happy in. Ooh, and at the bottom of the deck, relationship, harmony. We angels are opening the hearts of everyone involved. Arguments and conflicts are being resolved now. So there has been some conflict. There's been arguments, but it looks like, and this could have even been inner conflict. Arguments and conflicts are being resolved now. I feel like this is all inner turmoil because that's what these cards represent. This is all mental and inner turmoil. Something is keeping you feeling trapped mentally to a situation. You just don't know how to move. You're not sure what it is that you need to do, what your next step is. So you're feeling stuck. You're feeling stagnant and it's tearing you apart inside. But peace is coming by listening to your intuition, listening to the wisdom that is given to you from within. And through prayer, you're being divinely guided. I feel like you want expansion and you feel stuck and you feel in a, in a state of stagnation in this relationship as well. There even could be some gossip breaking out around you. And it looks like there's a need for change in perception. Again, because you're going through this mental conflict. And you're trying to choose who the best person is in this situation. And you already have your mind set on it. Now, this is causing a lot of conflict because... Your partner could be very intuitive as well, and they're picking up on what's going on. Someone has been very patient in a situ situation, but I'm seeing that temptation is kind of taking them away in a different direction with the, with the strength reverse. And there's resentment that's growing. Someone doesn't see a future here, and they see a future elsewhere. Mm, and it comes down to a decision with the king of swords. Also, with the king and queen, they're looking in two different directions. So with those that are coupled, it looks like you're not seeing eye to eye. You're looking in two different directions. There's a lot of coldness there. There's a lot of bitterness. There's a lot of unsaid, you know, unspoken tension. The, the tension is real. It's palpable. And you're just trying to heal from this feeling of betrayal. Someone feels betrayed. Whether it's you, Pisces, or your partner. They're trying to heal from this time. And maybe you're trying to heal from the past as well. Maybe you felt betrayed in the past. 
So you're, that's what you're constantly thinking about, your past hurts and your past pain, and that's what could be keeping you um, in a state of holding back and not moving forward. But one thing's for sure, you're in love. And you're feeling very emotional about this person. And you want to move on to something that's blessed and positive, And you want to move out of a situation that is a bit uncertain. And giving you pause. So slowly but surely you're coming to the realization that it's time to go. And so I'm seeing that you're ready to sever these ties. And move on to victory. Because you no longer see a future here. And for some of you this is a Gemini. It comes down to decision making. With the king of swords and the, the, the um, lover's card. Decisions. Moving on. Severing the ties. This isn't an easy decision. Moving on is bittersweet. But it looks like you're tired of the childishness. You're tired of being ignored and disregarded. Not getting the proper accolade that you deserve in this relationship. And for all of the sacrifices that you put forth for the family and for your partner. So it looks like this person has been reaching out to their ex. Um text, social media, email, phone call. Someone could have discovered this and this just threw things up in the air. Someone, Someone's juggling act was revealed. That someone is wanting a second chance with someone from the past. You've got the judgment card. You have a lot of major arcana, a lot of major changes that are coming up. Okay, um, yep, yeah, you've gained some wisdom here, definitely without a doubt. you got Three cards here, screaming out wisdom. Okay, I know I pulled the wisdom card before. Okay, you've gained some wisdom, and it looks like you're ready to move forward. You're ready to let go of these feelings of rejection, and you're ready to bring balance to your life, and you're ready to leave the trickery behind. And it looks like someone has already given up. They're already gone emotionally. They're no longer um, emotionally intact in this relationship. For some of you, it could be a Capricorn. But someone's tired of being, feeling like they're in hell, literally, for some of you. And I mean no disrespect, but that's what this card says when I look at it. Someone feels like they're going through hell. And they're trying to come to terms with things. For some of for some of you, that's like the 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 situation has just become too hot. It's it's too tempted. You can't you can't stay in the situation any longer. You can't stand the heat, so you're ready to go. And someone's feeling defeated. And yeah, you're on a break, and it's a break that you didn't want. Someone in the situation didn't want uh, want the break that is coming up, but it looks like. Someone is wanting to move on to a new beginning. And you've got the Ace of Wands and the King of Wands, the Knight of Wands. Like you're ready to move on. You're riding off into the sunset to start something new with someone from the past. Whom you have these romantic feelings for. Yeah, you're moving on to reconcile with this person from the past. And you're freeing yourself when you're walking away. So that's what I'm seeing. That's what I'm seeing for you, Pisces. So let's go ahead and pull another card of advice for Pisces. Okay, Holy Spirit, what additional messages do you have for the Zodiac sign of Pisces? Pisces couples moving on. In January 2018, Holy Spirit, what advice do you have for Pisces couples? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs, Holy Spirit, for Pisces. Bodies of water. Spend time near water, such as a lake, river, or ocean to recharge your batteries. It looks like you need a recharge, Pisces. 
You're needing to get grounded, get in a place where you can find balance transformation and that's what's taking place there's transformation taking place within you and there's transformation taking place within the situation you are experiencing enormous change right now which brings great blessings and at the bottom of the deck unconditional love Pisces love yourself others and every situation no matter what the outward appearances may be all right Pisces well, this concludes your weekly reading with Angelic Ascensions Tarot. If you're interested in booking a personal reading with me, my information is below in the description box. So what you would do is go directly in my website. There is a di direct link to my website below as well as to the Instant Go app. So if you are interested in booking a reading with me through Instant Go, you can do that as well. But that has to be for Apple, you know, iPhone users for now because the developers of the app are working on getting it available to Android. So you can, of course, reach out to me through Instant Go. And you can reach out to me, you know, by booking a reading directly on my website. And I'm still doing the year ahead readings. So if you are interested in booking those, those are still available and will be available all year long. All right, everyone, thank you for watching. Please uh, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and take care. I'll see you next week. Bye for now.